That sure was a very uncomfortable night, but still alive, can't complain too much, right? So we now have more information about the accident, how it happened, and I was amazed. It's literally right around the corner from where we live. Apparently, I checked it on Google Earth, apparently I got 130 meters before the, the driver ran into me. That's amazing, especially since this is such a, a safe area, or so I thought. That was just mind-blowing. Um, as mentioned, I don't have any memory of, of the accident itself. I still don't, and I don't imagine that it will ever come back to me, which is a good thing in a way, I suppose. Uh, I mean, there is um, there is a witness, and the driver did stay. It was not a hit and run, so I do appreciate that. Uh, so we don't really need need me to remember that, but um, still pretty weird. So um, made a bit of a sketch here, since I I can't use my right arm right now. I kind of need Kara to hold that. Yes, Kara will hold that. Okay, so we live here. This is not correct scale, by the way. I just did a rough sketch. And I rode the bicycle up there and then took the turn into the bicycle lane. And boom! That's where it happened. So apparently somebody was standing there in a car. They have to wait, obviously, so it was just riding along and apparently the, the driver must have been looking in the other direction the entire time. So uh, this is, as I wrote there, this is all a bicycle lane. I'm not quite sure why, because basically anybody who stands there should in theory easily be able to see me come from here, especially since there are no obstructions or anything. So. I'm a little baffled as to how that happened, but at the same time, hey, I realize we're all human, we make mistakes. Sometimes there's just a lapse, you know, where, you, where you're inattentive and you don't realize that you're being inattentive because you're being inattentive, right? That kind of thing. So I'm, I don't... I don't hold a grudge against the driver because, well, they stayed. They didn't just run off, so that's that's nice at least. Um, but yeah, this is uh, certainly not an experience I would recommend. <laughs> Especially it's frustrating because... <sighs> sorry, occasionally breathing is still a bit of a bit of a hassle, but it's, it's gotten better a little bit. Um, what frustrates me about this is that I cannot, I can't even draw any kind of lesson from it or, or you know, figure out, hey, what can I do to prevent such things in the future? Because <laughs> that's, it just suddenly happened. Um, I'm sure I, I noticed the car standing there, but I didn't think much of it, because why would you expect them to suddenly drive, right? And by the time they did, I, there was nothing left I could do, apparently. So, um, I kind of hate that, because it would be, if you can get some kind of, some kind of, um, I'm sorry, my, my brain still doesn't want to quite do its its job, but um, yeah, you know, if you can, if you can ga gather something from it, and you know, learn something like, oh, I can in the future, I can do this to prevent that. But as far as I'm concerned, I I've got nothing in in this case here. It's just a severe case of bad luck, I suppose. So um, yeah, I just wanted to 
give you the, the brief update to uh, let you know what happened, how. Again, there's no no snow or anything, even though it is winter. So um, yeah, freak accident. That's that's really a weird thing to happen. And um, yes, in, in about well, from now about a week, I I'll have to start physiotherapy, and then it'll take like at least four to six weeks apparently so uh, we'll see how how well that goes the uh <sighs> yeah never mind if I'll, I'll just ramble if i if i if i go on there won't be any valuable information in this but uh oh yeah just one more thing all the the support and all the well wishes from you guys are just amazing i was really blown away by that um, so thank you very much for that. It's it's awesome to have such a supportive audience and everything. Yeah, that's about it. So uh, have a good day or night or whatever it is where you are and stay safe, hopefully. <laughs>